so it looks like Harley Davidson are doing away with the side stand. Catch you inside. Revelator L. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha. Hope you enjoying the channel and this series of videos. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell, like and share, leave those comments, and check out the website revelatoralf.com where you find the links to Patreon and PayPal too. So, in this video, I'm talking about a Harley Davidson uh, motor company. They've just filed a patent uh, for a self-leveling uh, motorcycle. Uh, yes, they can do away with the side stand, and uh, this bolt-on gyroscope will uh, fit on top of the uh, top box of the tour pack, and basically uh, your bike will balance by itself, uh, no need for any side stand, and it'll work as a rider assist uh, balancing a mechanism uh, below three miles per hour and whether the motorcycle is stationary. Now this in itself is not groundbreaking uh, because Honda have their rider assist uh, motorcycle technology as well. Uh, Yamaha had their Motobot uh, motorcycle as well uh, which famously raced Valentino Rossi around a motorcycle racing circuit and uh, Rossi uh, just about beat it as well. Uh, but also BMW and other manufacturers have got there. In fact, this technology, the gyroscopic technology, uh, has been around for a, for a long, long time. Uh, but in terms of motorcycle application, it's only the, the recent five or so years that it started to gain a little bit of traction. Harley Davidson now have joined the party with this. Well, in in so much that they filed for a patent, it hasn't actually gone into production, and they haven't actually made it clear which motorcycles uh, this will be applicable to. Now, uh, this gyroscope mechanism, we we'll say it's going to be mounted on top of the tour pack uh, if you wanted it, and then it could be unbolted if you don't uh, want it anymore. Who is this aimed at? Well, apparently it's aimed at potentially shorter riders, uh, riders who can't handle the weight of the motorcycle, po uh, possibly aging motorcyclists uh, who are having difficulty with the bigger motorcycles uh, as well. The question here is, do we as riders really need this technology? Now, sometimes technology is great. I'm, I'm all for that. But sometimes technology is kind of there and you kind of scratch your head wondering, well, do we really need it? Is it taking away from the riding experience? Possibly there is an argument for that. But I think actually some of the technology within this, all this technological pathway, uh, we'll see many motorcycles uh, incorporate this kind of technology in the future. Just like traction control, ABS, cornering assist, that kind of thing. Uh, this kind of technology will undoubtedly come into future motorcycle use. Do we need it right now? Is a bolt-on unit to your motorcycle something that you're really going to be uh, seeking? Well, if it was me, I would say no. I certainly wouldn't want this on my motorcycle. And certainly uh, not something that I can just take off if I don't really want it anymore. I would much prefer that this unit was built in and be part of the fabric of the motorcycle itself rather than some kind of bolt-on accessory that is clearly visible to uh, anybody who wishes to uh, view it. it. It strikes me as, a, as an afterthought. Now, the reason why this is news is because it, the patent is for this bolt-on gyroscopic application, as it were. It's not for a patent for a rider-assist motorcycle, just let's say Honda or uh, or BMW or Yamaha, the like, uh, have got. And say so this is for the bolt-on. And it only works at less than three miles an hour or when the motorcycle is stationary. So, you know, you can have a cool party trick where your bike is just uh, sat there proud and uh, it brings new meaning to keeping the shiny side up, I suppose. According to reports, the gyroscope has a heavy flywheel that's mounted to an electric motor which spins at 10 to 20,000 RPM. And it's all then controlled by onboard computers uh, which will level the motorcycle uh, as is necessary. Now apparently the function of the computer is that it controls linear actuators uh, which will counteract any tilting motion of the motorcycle thus 
keeping it upright. Now, the question is whether this technology will attract a new type of rider to the brand. Will it attract uh, uh, a younger rider? Will it attract uh, older riders uh, to the brand? Or will it keep older riders who are having difficulty with the heavier weights uh, to the brand? Now, I'm, I'm not just talking about 50 year olds, 60 year olds here. I'm talking 70, 80 plus who may have some kind of a medical condition that they find the weight, especially of the big touring motorcycles, uh, too heavy to handle. Will this technology keep those on board? Will it attract new riders and possibly riders who are more suited to smaller motorcycles as well? So interesting times ahead for Harley Davidson. It'd be interesting to see if this actually goes into production, if it's made available and for which motorcycles it will be made available to as well. Whether this will attract different kinds of riders or retain riders is obviously yet to be seen. Or whether this is something that Harley Davidson can bank on to improve its sales figures is also yet to be seen. But the technology is there. It's good that Harley Davidson are investing in this kind of technology, of course. Uh, whether it will take off as an independent unit or whether we'll most likely to see the benefit in future motorcycles, uh, whether this is built in uh, as, a, as an added feature. But we'll have to wait and see. But there we go, uh, that's it uh, for uh, this, the self-leveling Harley Davidson motorcycle rider assist gyroscopically controlled uh, thing uh, that they've uh, got a patent on, which is all, all fine and dandy. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell, like and share, leave those comments. Check out the website revelatoralf.com where you'll find the links to Patreon and PayPal too. And I will catch you again on another video coming very soon. Bye now.